What's going on guys, Midi here, and today we're going to be talking about 8 subway stations that you need to know within Warzone. Well, there's 7, but the 8th is the secret hidden one, it's like the easter egg one, we'll get into that in a bit. Now I know it might seem like a bit of an obvious video, you know, the locations of each of these subways, but there's a few things you might not have known, like the manholes that are outside some of the subway stations, which will basically give you a really good escape route if you was in a fight here. One of these locations, you could just go down to the manhole, go to another area and get out of a fight. I mean, just them adding these subway stations to the game just makes the game a lot more versatile for you just in team fights or let's say your team gets wiped out you need to escape drop down manholes go down here and get away quite easily there's a few locations that are obviously pretty obvious but i'm just going to be going over all eight for you so as always if you're new here make sure you like the video and you subscribe to me bringing out regular modern warfare and warzone content for you boys now we're going to start at the downtown tavos district and then we're going to do a whole loop on ourselves and then end up right at the end at the shopping district so let's go into it on the first stop so the downtown tavos district's train is in downtown it's just to the right of the city hall where you can do the train station easter egg and going down one of the train stations if you've never been down it before you've got two ways you can go down right or left doesn't matter you're just going to end up on either side of the platform just a note as well you will take electric shock damage if you go onto the tracks but the damage is honestly bare minimal so don't worry about it too much each train station comes with its own manhole escape route you can either use this to escape or just to enter it without being detected and this one is just set behind the train station itself be careful when you're jumping down here because if you fall and don't get on the ladder, yeah, you will take the full damage and die. The next station is going to be the Verdansk Center. This one is near the stadium and it's also near the tent sort of area. So imagine right to the stadium and then you've got that tent area and a station. It's just there. The manhole for this one is just to the right of it here. Some manholes are easier to find than others. I've noticed some are quite hidden and then others are just out in the open. But that was the Verdansk Center station. The next station is going to be Loz of Pass. Now, this is next to the buildings where quite a few people normally drop to get early weapons in. You're going to find it south of the military base, just above the TV station. Kind of out the way a little bit, this one. And to find the manhole, and this is probably the most hidden manhole I've seen yet, you're going to find it just around the back here, next to where these cones are by the buildings. I mean, definitely a really good sneaky route if you were to get an engagement in these houses and you wanted a quick way to escape out or even go for a flank all the way around. You could do this, but that is the Lozov Pass station. Now, the next station is the AE791 that's been scribbled out. This is, in fact, the Easter Egg train stop. Now, I've already done a video on how you can do that. I'll leave a pinned comment on the video guide on how you can do it really easy. So, if Feel free to check that out if it's something you want to do. Now, once you've finished the Easter egg, I think you can either go in Verdansk Airport or Lozov Pass, and there's going to be this maintenance computer room. You do the Easter egg, you hit the button, and the maintenance train comes. You can just jump into this, and you're going to get insane loot. Specialist bonus, juggernaut, tons of orange crates. You know, it's just like doing a stadium Easter egg. You're going to be set out completely. And it actually says that this station is at the dam, so this is where it was originally. Obviously, the best station to get to so far, but the only way you're going to be getting there is through the Easter egg. But I'd like to see him add some more. It'd be quite cool. That is the scribbled out station that you can get to. Now the next station and probably one of the most obvious ones is the Verdansk International Airport train station. You're going to find this to the right of the airport roof. Uh, you can obviously see the grapple hook from here. So this is the only train station I'm pretty sure that only has two manholes. So let me show you where both of them are. Now the first manhole you're going to find just to the right side of it. It's going to be behind both of the buses. Obviously the cones indicate where they are. And the second manhole is kind of out of the way a little bit. It's just that it's just around the back of it where the garages are. So two hidden ones there. The next station is the Torsk Block station. The next station is Torsk Block. You're going to find this just to the south of the Superstore in between two of the large buildings. You know where all the little jimmies like going up to snipe. It's going to be down here. And the manhole for this one is just over at the back of it. Keep running down here. This is more of a hidden one again. I feel like they're all hidden. I mean, I can imagine people actually falling down these, which is going to be entertaining to see. Maybe that's why they've put two ladders so people just don't fall to their death. But that is where the Torsk station is and the manholes for it. Next, we've got the most obvious one, which is the Verdansk train station. I'd say the main subway station. You're going to find it just to the south of the main entrance of it here. The manhole for it is just to the right of it, next to the cones and the barricades, like always. Last but not least, the Barraquette Shopping District's train station and the very last one, taking us all the way back around to the downtown area. It's next to the Ferris wheel and you're going to find it on the very far east side of Promenade East. And the manhole for this one, I'm probably, I don't know why I found it so funny, but it's just located here and I just feel like someone is definitely going to fall down here and have a massive rage moment. But guys, that is all subway locations so far that you can get to. I definitely think you should take advantage of this, either using these as flank methods to sneak around and get behind people or use them as escape routes. Or if it's really necessary, 
getting most wanted and just traveling so far away if you're being chased down it's definitely going to help within the game so i'm excited to see what kind of plays people are going to get with this but guys as always if you like the video make sure you leave a like and leave a comment and let me know what do you actually think about the subway stations do you care for them is it going to be one of these things like the train you're going to use it once and never bother again or do you think this is going to be quite good in the game let me know but as always guys i'll catch you later